Uh, we're back, guys. Let's continue our let's play. I. Awesome. Same scream. <laughs> Double scream. What the? Open. You bastard. Dr. Clements uh, wrote to me today. She misunderstood Zvarkov's importance and his cost. A policeman makes a fine bodyguard unless you plan to rob a bank, and a good bodyguard must be paid in one currency or another. Control your team, or I will. Date October. <coughs> Damn it, I can't speak today. October 2nd, 2230, to Dr. Martin Sharp from Dr. Bennett, Bethany Clement. Dear Martin, I had to write to you immediately. I think something is very wrong. My friend Adam Post has accused me, accused of misplacing, possibly stealing artifacts up from his lab. I know he couldn't have been because he was with me at the time. But his ID card shows him authorizing their removal. He thinks that Rykov must be involved. I feel uncomfortable going to Dr. Eisenberg about this. But I'm sure he did want to know. I think this is very serious security breach. Can you help? near the artificial hive. Why haven't they purged the specimens? Hell if I know. Yeah, right now in the alien campaign, we're killing those guys that say purge the specimens. Possibly. <laughs> September 3rd, 2230. I've been here three weeks inside the pods. I feel like I'm on a research vessel in orbit around Earth, nice and safe. Sharp has been kind since I arrived. Some things bother me, though. I thought this place was strictly medical, uh, but I wonder. I've met a physicist, Adam Post. He said he uh, was studying the relics of Zeta site which I first looked or took to mean the pilot ruins that run everywhere beneath the surface. He collect, corrected me though. It, it's a younger species, he said, certainly not indigenous with the powerful energy technologies. He added that the attack was so much pow more powerful than what he'd been building for the old WD. I don't know what that is. Uh, then he blushed and sh and shut up. I'm sure he meant weapons division. I think he wanted to uh, impress me and then realized I wasn't supposed to know. Still, he was very cute. Cute. Uh, so maybe I'll forgive his warlike uh, tendencies. 
Oh, I thought this was a guy. <laughs> oh, what the? All right, fine. We'll open the damn lock. Super hack. No, I'm going to call this now. Super hack. Shotgun! January 1st, 2231. New Year's Day. Hung out, oh, hung over. Shouldn't have admitted. I've got doubts to the... De she's touchy. Come on, marriage is big, right? I should be scared. I'm making a big promise, I say from her face. You think I said I wanted to have an affair or hire a hooker or something. I'm just nervous. I'll write her another note. She loves notes. Now, uh, open. Alright, we went through all those lockers. Super hack! Let's get out of a trusty super hat. Nope. Oh. Shotgun shells. No. Nope. What? Did you guys just see that I got stuck in the locker? And kicks ass. Super hack. <laughs> Priority Wayland Utani email. Date November two, 24th, 2230. Doc, to Dr. Stephen Fowler from Dr. Adrian you off, I think. I don't know. Your last note has been, has me very worried. You're not describing the same man I that I knew. Eisenberg wasn't calm or meth methodical. He was ignorant and cocky. Took big risks with his father to back him up. Other things, he was wimpy. Got winded, wa uh, winded walking stairs from your from your stories. He's been on serious vitamin regime. Regimens, men's, or or of something. Of course, people change when they go through things like Expedition One. But if that it doesn't mean you should work with them, just my free advice, Steve. Okay. Dear Alice, in reply to your question, you know what the rules, you may be my sister, but I'm sticking to the public info, it's safer that way. Wavkov is used to be USCM, a general discharged after an incident on, incident on Karari, jungle planet, messy affair, very badly in <coughs> injured sole survivor, told crazy stories about invisible killers, lucky... Lucky to get a medical discharge. Story, story is confused there. USCM docs say Iraq broke his spine, suffered paralyzed, paralysis. But later, when he pops up in mercenary circles, his back seems fine. As a merc, his record is great but violent. He's pretty free with the looting too. Likes jobs where he won't be supervised and can walk away with the bonus. The last part is the rumor though. Quit that that job and come home. I mean it now. With love, your brother, Nate. Alright, we're running short of time, so I'll see you guys later.